Hey world and welcome back to Stuff We Do where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are talking about honey badgers. Okay, well, this honey badger. Um, okay, some of these, these two, do not have their original colors anymore so they look different. This one has been modded quite heavily, this one has been dyed. This one I put on the white scales, which is also a thing that um, Honey Badger knives brought out so that you could dye them. Okay. Um, also, I love the fact that they give you an actual tool to take them apart inside the box. Okay, so Honey Badger, awesome company, super friendly. Um, I buy extra clips every now and again because these clips are fantastic and they do work on a lot of other knives. Okay, if you need a deep carry clip and you don't have one and they are extremely cheap i think in south africa these things are 80 bucks for um yeah 80 rand for one of these clips um now compare that to the four or five hundred rand for your other clips anyway um let's quickly look at these knives over here we have a small honey badger tong now this thing is a bull tong knife and i'm not sure if you can get them overseas this is my modified, uh, the large tongue. This is the only small one I have, and I do not have any mediums. I really need to get a medium. Okay, remember perspective on a camera. Um, this thing is way smaller than this one. Okay, then let's take the small one away. This is just going to confuse everybody. The action on these things are amazing. And this one, you can buy this aftermarket. Like I said, I'm not sure if you can do it everywhere, but yes. Okay, this is the... Worn cliff or worn cleaver, worn cleaver, um, the tongue, and then the normal standard. I think they call this one the um, flipper. Okay, then we also have an opener which I do not have, and it looks like it might be discontinued. Where it looks the same as this one, but it's got a belly, it's like the bottom half of this with the opener at the top. And yes, it is a fake wave opener, and it works fantastic. Um, so if you're into that, great. So this one is a bolt-on knife, but yeah, it's got tactical implications. Or like I said, if you want to eat your bolt in Ari. Now all of these are exactly the same size, so do not let the camera fool you. Okay, let's move this one up. Now, this is the one we're talking about today. Um, last year or whenever they came out with a blue color um, on the scales, now this is a new color, it's orange. I haven't seen orange ones before this. I saw that you could buy the orange scales alone with the white ones. Um, and then you could tune it yourself. But this is the first one I have that came out with the orange on a knife. Okay, and what you have all been waiting for, the new leaf blade. Look at that blade shape. Okay, straight then a drop at the point, we still have a nice curved belly over here, we still have a finger choil, it's not as big as that finger choil, let's look at these two blades, okay, it's not as big as that finger choil, but it does have a wonderful pistol grip, actually I'm lying, it looks like it's almost exactly the same, okay, the blade has been cantered inwards, or bent inwards, where this one is straighter at the, at the end, can you see that, okay, and then the little drop point, and the blade is um, not as tall as this one. Also compared to that one, you see it's quite an extreme tilt or drop over there. If you look at it like that. Oh, well, let's turn it like that. Okay, look at that. It tilts quite a lot towards the bottom or towards the that side. Anyways, it's like this. Um, and this is my new favorite blade shape for Honey Badger. Also, apart from the finger choil over here and the thumb ramp that we all know that's jumped, it's also jumped on the back of the spine. Okay, this one I bought from Honey Badger directly. Um, and then you get free, um, I think it's like 10 letters free engraving on the spine. And that looks pretty awesome. Okay. Jumping over here is great for when you want to do something like this or when you want to do more tip work. Okay, so now you have a lot of traction over here. The spine is still quite crisp. So if you want to strike ferro rods or 
scrape tree bark or whatever you do with your crisp spine. Um, look at the little nose over there. And then it's got a very acute tip. Okay, so that tip pierces like nobody's business. As always, these things came super sharp, great action, and I need to do a comparison. Okay, hear that, Frank? Listen to that thing. Okay, so this guy comes out angry. It snaps like a beast. Okay, I love this. My new favorite blade shape. Everything is fantastic. The only gripe that I do have with this one, which is pretty much the same as this one. <coughs> okay, look at the holes. These holes are straight. So, when you put your finger in there, it feels, I don't know, more natural. Okay, okay this is the smallest gripe in the whole world. It feels more natural. But when you put your finger in this hole... Um, it feels like it's bent too much, so it's like I have to shove my finger in there. Okay, but still, no problem, stupid little gripe. It still works every which way you want to open this thing. It's still a fantastic knife, but I love the shape. For your normal, everyday EDC tasks, um, piercing, whatever, this thing is fantastic. If you work on a board, you have like quite a lot of, um, what do you call it, rock that you can do before the flipper tap. Um, touches it if you want to cut things if you want to get close to things this is a wonderful knife if you want to pierce stuff this thing shines so there we go new honey badger leaf shape new shape new color new knife i'm very happy and of course like all the others i went with the 8cr one i don't know if they have a d2 in this one yet but i went with the 8cr one because like i said honey badger is a fantastic budget knife but if you start paying too much when you go to the D2 prices, then you start thinking, but maybe I could have gotten that knife or maybe I could have gotten that knife. And then the honey badger starts becoming less special. So I see you can get these at the knife guy for 500 and something rand. If you buy them from honey badger directly, it's a bit more expensive. Um, but I must say, I bought mine from honey badger. From Honey Badger, it's got my name on the front, and then Honey Badger, thank you for ordering from Honey Badger Knives. We hope you enjoy your new knife. Kind regards to the Honey Badger team. Isn't that just fantastic? Okay, so you get a beautiful little letter. I don't know if everybody gets that, but I don't think I'm special enough to get anything more than your normal average Joe. Okay, then we get this beautiful little box. Magnetic closure, it opens, got a beautiful honey badger sticker, because honey badgers don't care. We get our little book, in the book it shows us those claw things, it shows us the bolt-on ones, it shows us the flipper, the gut hook, yeah that's it. Okay, and then blah blah. And then our tool as always. And it's beautifully inset in there. So I must say. Honey badgers are fantastic knives in my book. And for the money. These things are amazing. Let me just not put that there. So you can look at this in all its awesomeness. Okay. So stay safe. Happy. And have a good one. Goodbye.